What's good, YouTube? Stormy V Man, and I'm back with a video editorial. Before we get started, I'd like to say shout out to the LDBC, the Lions Den Boxing Community, New Media, and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. On April 11, from London, England, at the O2 Arena. Boxing will get its chance to see the heavyweight division under the lights and be pressed into the future. As Joe Joyce and Danny Dubois take on one another in an eliminator. This fight is not touted as an eliminator. But what it will do is, it will take one of these young prospects and place them to the side as the other one ascends toward title contention. This is a great matchup between two fighters who can actually make some hay in the future for the division. This match calls to mind other great matches such as the matchups that we saw in the past. Ray Mercer against Tommy Morrison where those two gentlemen fought and put themselves in a tremendous position to be contenders going forward in their careers. Another fight that it reminds me when we saw Lennox Lewis take on Frank Bruno even though Frank Bruno had been a perennial contender and had contended for the title a couple of times, Lennox Lewis, who was a countryman, was the new model. And it took a showdown between the two who could separate who would be champion going forward, even though Bruno, at a later point in time, became a world titleist as well. These type of matchups often define a fighter's career when you look back. Whether they lost or won, what happens is the respectability being there for them having faced quality opposition. In the case of Joe Joyce, the juggernaut, he has limited time, for he's 34 years of age. Although, in recent years, aging heavyweights have progressed like fine wine. Joyce is a boxer puncher. He has one heck of a chin, and Dubois is going to test him. Joyce's record, 10-0, with nine knockouts, makes him an exciting fighter. Dubois, who is 14 and old with 13 KOs, is more of a consummate seek and destroy fighter. He's heavy handed. He has a great physical presence and he is the young upstart where he's only 22 years of age. So even if he were to suffer a setback at this stage, he has plenty of time to regroup and galvanize to go forward. I look at him as a future champion, someone down the line. I think it still may be a little too early to consider him a contender for a world title, but he could easily propel himself into the top 10, if not top five, with victories over opponents like Joyce. It's going to be a tall order. Many people think that Joyce's hand speed is rather slow. I don't look at it that way because a boxer can appear to be slow, but he can actually, in, in, in actuality, be quick. And quick is more to do with timing. If you can see it and you have the athleticism to get it off, you can score. I do believe that these two will bring the best out of one another, and that's all we can ask from the sport of boxing. 
as we look toward this fight, expect some heavy hitting, expect some actual man contact here. The sport sorely needs this. We know we have a champion at the top of the division in Deontay Wilder, who will readily receive this type of opponent. But for as far as everyone who is under the champ, these men to these men need to sort things out. That's what I think about it. But what do you think about it? Why don't you leave comments and we can discuss this further? I think this is the second biggest heavyweight fight this year thus far after Fury and Wilder. Leave thoughts and comments. That's all I have for you at this time. This is Stormy B Man. Until we speak again, I want to say peace.